Hi, I'm Naidan Sari, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can have physics door in Argyle Engine 5. It would be like this. Um, when you go to the door, and you can push it to open it, right? Like this. And you remember in last video, we did talk about this, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, you should download this uh, door, for example, or whatever door that you want. It works with any door that you find out there. This this is the free one that you can download. So so in here, I want to create another folder and I want to call it door number two. And in here, I did download the door that I showed you and there is an FBX fillet that I want to use it. So for example, this one, let's just drag and drop it in here. Don't change anything, just hit import, right? It will import the material textures and 3D model as well. So when you add it, it will give you all of these 3D models. It will give you two material and some texture. It will do everything for you. Select all of these 3D models and bring it on your scene. And you can see this is our door, right? So let's just delete it. <laughs> and for using this door, I want to create a blueprint. So we want to use it everywhere, right? So right click in here, create a blueprint of actor class and call it BP. Um, for example, door two, right? So double click on it to open it. And when you open it, one thing that you should do, you should go to content drawer and go to door two in here and add all of them in the scene, right? So if you go back, you will see this big door, right? This is normal size door. So we have our door and our door has some parts like knob, like lock, like hinge. It has everything, right? So first thing I want to find the frame and this is the frame. It call it uh, name it correctly, but I want to change the name to frame so we can find it easily. And there is a door in here that this big door and there is lock. There is door lock again, door hinge one door knob one and all of that right what i want to do i want to select all of these hinges lockers and all of that and make it a child of the door right no we have a door that i want to call it door right so door has some knob some hinge some lock right and we have frame as well so first thing to do in here um i want to go to door and in here let me find it the physics go to physics tab because we want to push it physics physically right just click on simulate physic right that's all you need to do simulate physic and on frame i don't want it to simulate physic in just the door i want to simulate physics but that's not all go to frame and in here if you go to static mesh and find the mesh for the frame i'll click on it to open it and in here i did talk about it a lot in my videos but i will show you again in show just what look at simple collision right this is her simple collision so it won't let us go through it right again if you open up complex collision complex complex collision is okay but we don't need any collision for this so what we can do about that we can go to collision and remove the simple collision easy so no we can go through it and that's all we need to do save it and no i think our door is ready right no it's not ready um if you put it like this in our scene this door that you see in here i did it uh for myself for testing so i don't waste your time so no let's just put this one in here and run our game let's see what will happen and you can see it will fall off because it simulates physics but it doesn't have any limitation if you if you force anything to it it will interact with it right so we want we want uh, we want to have some limitation for it right so First of all, let me change this camera speed size so I can go around easier, okay? And now what we are going to do is to add a physics constraint. With physics constraint, we can limit the rotation or um, movement of our door, right? Click, click on add and search for physics. And the one that we need is physics constraint, okay? Now that we have physics constraint, we should put it somewhere when where we want to rotate this door it will be at hinges right so let's just put it um in here i want to perfectly put it somewhere cool like this and this way is okay this way is okay everything cool it's it works as a hinge right <laughs> as a matter of fact you can put it here uh, what is important is that this constraint will limit the rotation of our door and i will show you how it will do that when you select on physics constraint and you go down in here you can limit swing and twist right i don't know what they were what they are mean but if you lock it 
they won't be able to move right but if you limit it for example this one it will just move this way it will just move this way and it uh, with this swing one limit we will tell if we are telling it to, you can swing 45 degree right i want to increase that to 90 degree for example and no uh, i think everything cool and everything should work what we didn't connect this to door we didn't tell it what component this physics constraint should limit right so if it go down or up let me see uh -huh. in this component in component name we should tell it which component we want to limit and in this case is our door that we call it in here door right so if you again select on physics concert you can see these red lines in here that it will tell you that it limits the rotation or twist of these um for 90 degrees right with this half circle in here no let's just compile and run and if we go through our door you can see it will open it will open but it won't come back so what is the problem you can see so for it to come back to initialize or closed state we can go to physics constraint and in here go down to angular motor and change the slurp to twist and swing and we want to swing to the initialized position that is zero 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 target orientation we want to swing toward the closed door state right so again let's just compile and run and now if we go here you can see it will come back but it never stop it's like there is no air resistance or there is no resistance uh, there is a lot less resistance it just has a motor on it it's it's like that right so for having some resistance if we can click on door and go here let me find it in physics i think in angular damping and what angular damping is uh, for example it's like air resistance angular movement resistance right so i want to put five in here and come compile and run again now if we go through our door you can see it it's it's a little bit better now right and this is the last one that i did it's exactly the same everything is the same and you can do it for whatever door that you have okay i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps it helps me a lot thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>